Few tennis players can claim the success and longevity that Australian tennis great Thelma Coyne Long achieved. She captured her first major title in 1936 and her last, an impressive 22 years later in 1958. Thelma won a remarkable 19 Grand Slam tournament titles over those years, including victories in singles, doubles, and mixed. She was so kind to me when I went to Australia and I cannot tell you she deserves this so much and I know it's been very important to her I mean it, this is the highest honor that a tennis player can receive. In 1952 Long completed the Australian Championships triple winning the singles doubles and mixed titles in her home event. Australia as we know is one of the preeminent tennis nations and this woman dominated the Australian for a number of years she played hard She's a great competitor, she worked hard, she won a lot of big titles, she is a terrific competitor. To this day, she remains the holder of seven records at the tournament, including the record for most Australian doubles titles won by a man or woman. She won 10 of her 12 doubles crowns with the Hall of Famer Nancy Wynne Bolton, and together, the pair holds the record for the most Australian doubles championships by a team. She was such uh, a great player from Australia when travel was difficult. It wasn't that easy for them uh, with the different uh, situations, very costly. So a lot of times uh, the ones in the old days that couldn't get to travel as much and have the money available that we do today, uh, I really admire her. With the onset of World War II, Thelma was forced to take a five-year hiatus from competition. The Australian Dynamo only had the opportunity to play the French Championships three times, competed just twice at Wimbledon, and appeared at the U.S. Championships only on one occasion. She could rarely travel, and of course the, the war years took out an entire slice of her career. And so she was unlucky in that respect, but she was, from all accounts, a, a great lady and was an absolutely super doubles player. Thelma still made her presence felt during those years. She joined the Red Cross as a transport driver and later joined the Australian Women's Army Service, where she rose to the rank of captain in 1944. She was awarded both the Australian War Medal and Australian Service Medal for her efforts. Thelma Long inspired a lot of Australians. I'm sure some of the younger great Australians, such as Yvonne Gulligan, Margaret Court, Leslie Turner Bowery, they all were aware of her accomplishments and what they were needed to do if they wanted to be a great player. Today, Thelma is 94 years old and she resides in the Sydney area. She still enjoys following pro tennis and marvels at how the sport has evolved since her playing days. Now she will forever be celebrated as one of the greatest legends of the sport and as an enshrinee of the International Tennis Hall of Fame.